he's, I, I'm going to go the other way as well. You might see some clear headed, fit 70 year olds, but then you're going to also see some. 30 year olds who can't put a sentence together Absolutely. properly because they're slurring the weird words because they've been punched in the f in the face that many times you know yep. and are you, what you've just said there Glenn, more well, the pro, benefits more pros than cons about boxing where i think i might be on the fence with that. I'm, i might i might disagree with that and that's the reason why i wouldn't put my kids into boxing because even though i've made something of myself from boxing and i wouldn't don't know what i'd be doing if, if i wasn't boxing i, I see so many people come away with it with absolutely nothing. It was working in a building site now with a little bit of CTE, who's not earning any money, who's depressed, who's drinking every night, uh, who's talented anxiety. people as well, right? Who've been people. doing it since they were kids, exactly. Yeah. And yeah. These, these these kids, some of them boxed for England, being national champions, and now the now they're in a horrible place in their life, and like it's not everyone there is some 70 year olds who's getting through it but sure but but also the other end there's these there's these kids that are just not making it and i think without uh, blowing my own trumpet here i'm like uh, 0.1 percent of the people who've come away with who's, who's mm -hmm. done something you know you've seen it glenn some, yep. some of these boxes in the uk uh you, you might have seen it like some boxes who they've, now they've got nothing yep. i just want to see one more thing about on the boxing front i didn't really want to come here and talk all about boxing but when you talk, talk about community now that is the best thing for, for for people you know when i was started boxing when i was 10 years old all of the kids there just about all of the kids there come from rough neighborhoods rough backgrounds and when we got together we were like a family like a com like like a, com a community of of brothers mm. you know and even now the kids who i grew up with when i was 10 11 12 all the way to 16, we all had some shit going on at home, right? But when you got to the gym, that was forgetting about you. Were we yeah. your boys? Yeah. You were punching each other as hard as you could in the face, yeah, yeah. busting each other's noses. But then you, you create that bond that was like your family away from your family. That there is so, so powerful. And that is probably, for, for me, one of the biggest benefits of, of going to a going boxing for, mm -hmm. for for kids so I just wanted to see yeah, that as well I've just been talking shit about boxing yeah. a little bit but I want to see that now just yeah. to finish on that on the boxing stuff like what you said about uh, people that are struggling now and they're like talented careers and now struggling and they've like had brain trauma or whatever it is I, I feel like it's easy to point the blame on boxing but I would point to them because there are some people like for example yourself you've had that that ability to think outside the box and think like right this isn't going to last forever i'm going to need something after boxing right mm. you got that kind of business mindset and like something you put it to use not everybody has got that skill so it's like a skill in itself that you kind of have to learn and develop like okay i'm going to stop boxing at some point i've got to figure something out after this and not everybody does that that's where they kind of fall down and i feel like boxing as a sport and as an organization and all that could do way more to tell to kind of push fighters into thinking look right you're not gonna do this forever but let's start trying to encourage them to yeah. open gyms and, as, and do as well what we, spoke, we spoke about the other day was like what was hard for me is like boxers are used to these highs all the time mm -hmm. you go mm -hmm. to fight you win you drop you win and a, a high is the high you're like i'm guessing you're on heroin or you're on cocaine or whatever it is for that for that few hours after your fight, you're the, it's the best feeling in the world. Yeah. And then when you retire, it's like, uh, now what?